Hi guys, my name is Jay and thank you for coming uh, to watch this uh, uh, Adobe Illustrator tutorial of mine. Uh, today uh, I made uh, uh, just uh, another uh, version of the previous uh, previous logo tutorial. I did, uh, if you remember, with the triangle. Uh, this time it's uh, it's just a, a, a square based. Uh, and uh, if you want to, if you want to know how to how to make uh, this uh, more advanced one, uh, please uh, check in uh, the next uh, tutorial. Uh, uh, we can start uh, this one, uh, with, which is uh, a more uh, simple, uh, by uh, making a 100 by 100 pixels uh, square and uh, draw uh, a circle with the same uh, parameters. Again, we can go into outline mode uh, if you watch my previous tutorial, I've uh, explained uh, uh, a bit more in detail about that. And uh, with with our sn uh, smart guides uh, on, uh, we can uh, easily uh, arrange uh, all these uh, uh, circles. So let us uh, select uh, all of these and uh, go to our gradient panel here. And uh, we can assign them this uh, basic uh, black uh, to white gradient uh, because uh, in this early stage uh, it's uh, it's important that we have uh, we have the shape uh, and the colors can be always changed uh, uh, later on. You will want to rotate uh, these parts with with the uh, with the with the color switch here. Uh, rotate them to the uh, behind this behind this square here. Uh, if you if you cannot preview, uh, I I said this in my previous tutorial. If you cannot uh, if you cannot uh, determine where where this uh, part is, we have your transparency panel, and you can see that this needs uh, a 45 degrees uh, rotation. So this one's almost fine and yes uh, again uh, we have this uh, uh, one shape that is bugging us uh, so to say uh, I'm just rotating it rotating it uh, so uh, we have to make this part uh, stay on top of this circle but this part of this circle uh, needs to be behind uh, this one or or the other way around but uh, uh, it's it's basically it's basically the same. So uh, draw a rectangle, which will be our mask. Hit T on our keyboard to make it uh, your default shape. Uh, it's possible that your default shape uh, might have a stroke here. So when you when you hit D on any of your, uh, on any of your shapes, uh, it will have a stroke. So yeah, simply remove your stroke. Uh, and uh, one quick tip uh, I forgot I always forgot uh, to mention. If you if you have this, uh, like mine, a basic uh, gray shape, uh, you can go to the graphic styles uh, panel here. You can you can uh, always uh, bring it uh, out uh, by going to the Windows menu and uh, uh, drag uh, any shape by holding the Alt press and uh, uh, put it here. So now, when I draw any shape, for example. I don't know an ellipse. Then when I hit D, it uh, becomes this uh, defa default uh, uh, shape. So uh, I want mine to be uh, this square. So I'll hold hold uh, Alt and drag it here. So my, now the default shape is uh, this gray square without a uh, stroke. So make this make this into a clipping mask, and then Control C, Control F, and then select with the direct selection tool uh, I made this one uh, into a shortcut which is uh, shift plus a so I can get to it easily uh, don't hesitate to, to change your shortcuts the way they suit you the best you can do this here uh, it will help speed up your work workflow trust me and then you will want to select this uh, rectangle uh, if you have your smart guides turned on 
uh, just hovering over it will uh, show it. Now select it and then uh, drag it to the left. So we we, uh, we reveal the uh, other part of the circle. Control X and Control uh, B. Control X, Control F this square. Okay. <laughs> I just messed up a bit here, but uh, it's, it's pretty. It's it's not very easy to to do these tutorials uh, without uh, making any mistakes. So I'll just uh, do a bit uh, rearranging. Control X. So uh, no explanation needed. Uh, uh, we are. I, I've just uh, done a bit uh, rearranging. So I think it looks pretty much the same. Uh, uh, like like before, you can switch these colors uh, uh, to suit you. Doesn't matter. Uh, you can make them whatever you want. Really, uh, it's up to you. And your taste. So, uh, to to find out how to how to uh, make this more uh, advanced shape, uh, please tune in uh, to my uh, following tutorial or my next tutorial. Uh, and uh, thanks uh, thanks for watching this one. Uh, I'll see you, see you later. Bye bye.